Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the iRacing series. We're doing the Carburetor Cup. Yes, we have not done the Carburetor Cup in a while, uh, and I figured we'll do it. We're here at uh, the Ch Charlotte under the lights. Should be interesting. You know how Carburetor Cup races go. They usually don't go so well. Uh, we did qualify decently. I'm not really sure where we're starting. It says we're ninth, but maybe that is exactly where we're going to be starting. Uh, we're in a 28.6 here. Wasn't too bad. Dang it, never thought I'd be in this split. Well, there you have it. This is Kerry. And uh, let's get this car up to speed. So uh, basically no Bristol race this week because of the real race. I had a huge rain delay on Sunday and I wanted to watch the real race. So I wasn't able to compete in the iRacing series race that was at eight o'clock that night. So it was uh, really interesting. Uh, it was it was an awesome race actually. Kurt Busch did amazing, um, except for at the end we got kind of screwed. But you know NASCAR wanted to have their green light checkers, so we'll let them have it. Right? Sounds about right. Carburetor Cup. You know I'm thinking it's all about uh, it's all about track position and keeping your nose clean and not getting in any trouble. That's that's essentially all you have to do here in Carburetor Cup. They have fixed the. Uh, set up they fixed it like it the car feels so snugly perfect it is not um it's not loose or tight it's like right there neutral in the middle and uh it's kind of weird because i'm so used to this track watch your mirror watch your mirror car stuck on the bottom Hitting here the brakes. what is that dude doing he's supposed to back it down and just hold and wait for people to go by um but uh you know i'm so used to this track being basically skating on ice and this car is phenomenal like the setup is perfect at least for my driving style i really like it uh from what i can tell you can race multiple lanes um there's a bottom middle and high line uh i was able to run uh, low 29s on the high side which is absolutely crazy so uh gives more opportunities for racing again so i'm sure you know we won't be running 28 fives and sixes as, as race pace but um, in qualifying, I saw some guys were better than me that were doing that. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's just showing me third fastest is what that's telling us. That's not what we're starting at. I have no idea what uh, position we're starting in, actually. I'm just getting a feel for the car. In the warm-up session, before we go out, I turned uh, the the virtual mirrors off because in Carburetor Cup, I'll shut the engine off, um, you basically need a little bit of luck and as much viewing as you possibly can. So that... That fake mirror at the top will help us out there, I think. Be one to go at the line, man. Just keep All righty. Be one to go at the line. We're starting seventh inside lane. That's Clean always our good. Up a little bit here. We'll be on the bottom row. Probably a little less grip down there. Still closed. One more lap. Up or down or anything? Okay. It looks like voice chat is not going to be in the game because they have it in a separate thing for some reason. I don't know, so I'm sorry about that. We won't have that. Um, I guess they had the the chat. They the, that's the thing that sucks about uh, iRacing is that every single time you load it, if you're running multiple uh, sound devices, it doesn't work. It just doesn't for some reason. You have to like go in there and make sure every the voice chat's in the right one, the spotters in the right one, the game sounds in the right one. It's just annoying. But that's all right. We won't have to worry about it. I'll just, I'll relay to you if they're doing anything stupid or if they're saying anything stupid. Right now, they're just saying all oh, good luck and everything. See now how that is. Good luck, drivers. So, starting seventh, inside lane. Should be a lot of fun. And there you have it. <laughs> he said, um,. If you lap me, be careful. I just painted this car, so it'd be interesting. But it's probably a good thing you can't hear them because it's their little chatty Cathy's, which is okay. I love when people get mad at you whenever you're warming the tires up. They're like, don't warm the tires up. They don't do anything. Well, we know. We're just having fun. But, yep, 25-lap shootout. Should be a lot of fun. We're starting in second gear. I don't think we'll have any wheel spin or any issues, but maybe guys in the back will. And we'll be ready to go here. We're going to be right behind the 78 car. 
All right, man. Of I'll Scott call the green Turbush. Now. We'll watch in front of you. I was in uh practice with him earlier today. Let's do it. Hey, car is in. And we're rolling. Springer green. Rolling good, rolling Third. good. Shouldn't be any checking up. Keep digging. All righty. All rolling good. A lot of grip. A lot of grip. So we can pretty much run wide open right here. Let's try to get some draft off the 46. That's cool. He's got Boeing on the back of that car. Really cool indeed. Man, already some hard racing up here, and they're getting a little bobbled up. Door. Had a really lift Still there because these Still guys there. are getting a little crazy. Still there. That guy kind of checked up. I don't know why, but he did. Still outside, outside. He's on his tight right there, so I'll give him some room. Bumper. Still going to be out there. Clear. All clear. All clear. All right. I'm kind of waiting for the... Hoping these guys are going to be uh, spreading out a little bit. Hope they don't hold us up too much. As they are a little slow. Sure. Slower than us there. Right I don't want to go three wide, so we'll just get to be smart here. Door, middle of the track. Man, that guy is running that dude hard, isn't he? Go outside of your door. It's all right. Clear high. Clear high. He's running our line now. That's all we can do. Just take a glance at your temps for the back there. Make sure everything looks good. Get down on that line like that. Get some speed. Like I said, you know, we did good in uh, practice, and we were fast there. And I don't know if we're faster than Turnbush, though. I'll, I'll say that. I thought we weren't, but turns out we weren't too bad. Uh, sure. Yeah, I screwed up on that line, and he'll take it All away from clear. us. All clear. Turnbush is his last name. Find some more speed. And we'll try to catch the draft off him here. Yeah, see, I, I made that mistake in entry of three. I forgot all about it, and I ended up having to run that high line. You just don't want to forget when you're, even when you're racing, you don't want to forget what line you're running, you know? The one you practice with. Man, this guy behind us is coming up on us quick. 20 to go, 2 0. Looking real nice, man. You hit your marks, you're doing fine. Now I'm pushing door. the car. Now I'm Still pushing there. it. Damn it. You're clear. Your door Let's down try there. to work on it again. Still there. Because I'm not used to this line. Clear. Clear by two. So we'll be fine here. Just want to make sure that we're uh, being smart about our passing decisions. And we just need to really run our line. run our line that we were running before it, it that's the biggest one of the hardest things in i racing for people to uh get used to is in race conditions to run your line that you've been practicing and not stray from it too much because whenever you do that's when you make mistakes that's when you get stuck on the high line and cars pushing and all that so that's pretty much all it is it's it's a matter of remembering to run the line that you had practiced. We're in seventh right now. These guys are pretty darn good, I gotta say. I'm I'm pretty impressed for being a carburetor cup race, you know. Pretty impressed there. So now we just gotta find ways to get more speed on Mr. Heigl here. It's like if I, I, I don't know, I can't explain it. it. It seems like they're, they might be letting off a little late, a little uh, later than me. And then using that momentum more so than me. But I am catching him in the center of the corner a little bit, it seems. We'll see what happens once we get up here into traffic. Yeah, we're pushing the car way too hard right now. Probably used our stuff up early. It's possible. Let's 
there you can see whenever they're uh, letting off the gas because you're seeing the all that unburned fuel being shot off the side there which doesn't mean anything I mean I'm I'm staying in pace with them I was hoping I'd catch the uh, catch the draft of Heigl here To get, hopefully this car up here is going to hold him up so I can get to him. Kelly is way down. He's a lapper. Okay. Really hoping the lapper was going to man some decent drivers. I'm I'm really uh oh. Okay, you let out of the gas. Now that's how you do it. If you're gonna wreck your car, you're gonna lose control of your car. You just want to stay on top of it. But yeah, with the new rules package, this and this setup, man, these cars drive great. Trying to uh, see how he's running his line so we can get to him. See where his let off points are at. But man, he's pulling away from me. You see, I just can't get the car down there at all without rolling over that right front. And I can feel it whenever I'm doing that. So I need to just go back to what I was doing. Our line was working to us, so. I mean, we got a huge gap between us and, and the guy behind me, so. He's just saying uh, how he's staying out of everybody's way and all that stuff, which is respectable, I mean, especially if you're brand new and, and you're scared to be out on the here. track. It's good to just stay out of everybody's way. Kelly disconnected. I guess he was having too many issues. 15, gonna be lap 16 here. I to go. Keep but, you know, unless I catch him, we can't, we will never catch the leaders if we can't draft. Car's really starting to come to life there a little bit there. Man. Drove the shit out of it off that corner. God. I'm just trying to find speed where I can get it, and it's just not happening. I just got to do what I've, what I've been doing. It's like every time I step outside of that box, I get, you know, get bitten in the ass on that one. So let's just keep rolling here. Come on, turn. That right front man is taking a beating on this uh, steering ratio. I'm assuming I, I didn't. I haven't changed it. It's still the default 12 to one ratio, but sometimes, you know, it can be a little much. So, I mean, we're finding that spot where the car wants to pick up, but it pushes off the turn whenever we run that line. So I don't know how they're doing it, but it looks like they're, they're letting way off up here on the top lane and they're just driving the car down to the corner. But I, I just can't get any bite on that right front, that right front's toast already. So not pushing it anymore. We already know what we're, what we're good. We're a seventh place car and that's just what it is. Just what it is. But I will be missing the uh, the Richmond race that's coming up this weekend. I'll be in Florida, so I won't get to run that iRacing Series race. Um, but when I do come back, we'll be at Talladega. So that'll be fun. I know some of you guys were looking forward to that. Since it's a plate race. Me... On the other hand, not so much. 
um, plate racing kind of. No you know, I've only done Carburetor Cup plate races. I've never actually done an iRacing series race. So maybe the drivers are a lot better, but I don't know. Plate racing is plate racing and it's anybody's game. So it'll be interesting. That's for sure. Just waiting for somebody up there to make a mistake or wreck so we can catch up. But I don't know. These are some damn good guys in here. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Yeah, I can just feel I am tearing up, chewing up that right front. Bad. I don't know. I have the replay camera up. You guys can see it, but I don't know if that right front's smoking when I'm pushing it that hard, but if it is, then that tells you I'm rolling over that right front and driving it too hard in the corner. But I have not practiced much here. I got a practice session in or two, but nah. not really finding any way to get more speed out of the car. And I don't think eighth place can figure it out either. He's nine seconds back. Two to go. No pressure. Two to go at the line. So, yep. Car was a seventh place car. It's all, all we got pretty much. <laughs> Sorry it was uneventful, but, you know, it could have been a lot worse. We had some good racing in the beginning. Yeah, I've got to be driving over that right front. Oh, hello. That dude was either blowing up or something. White flag is out. If I could just get my... If I could just, you know, get that damn... Uh, corner entry down we'd be in better shape but i just can't and I, I, it's almost as if they might even be breaking a little bit a little bit more than me man this thing is pushing through the center we're just plowing that right front. It, it's got to be pretty much gone. They are funny there. Check your flag. So there you have it. So congratulations to Mark. Maffet. Hey, Picker, you just got to get pushed out of there as soon as we can. And so he can was the... Which one? Mark. See the 46? No. That's all right. Well, we did the best we could. Um, I just really must have torn up that right front tire. I guarantee it. I mean, the PSI, uh, they just don't tell you very tell you too much information there. But, I mean, look at the tire temps. That right front was taking a beating for sure. So that's pretty much all it was. Can't be upset about it. We were seventh, started seventh, and we finished seventh. We just didn't go anywhere. Those guys are better than us. So hats off to them. Guys, if you want to see more iRacing, as always, hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought about the race. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.